What up, guys? It's Young Zodiac, aka Zodiac, back with another Dokken Battle video. Um, my let's play, uh, Super Mario 64, is kind of not looking so nice. So, we're gonna go back to our original content, and we're gonna cover the Super Saiyan 4 Easy A event. Um, I was wrong. Turns out we're only getting 40 stones, not 60, so they did kind of uh, screw us over with that. So, I'm kind of disappointed, but it's whatever. I don't even care. This event, so far, is, like, ridiculous. It's, like, their difficulty is insane. Um, the easy A's themselves, like, they're amazing. Don't get me wrong. Not to say, like, Goku and Vegeta don't deserve to be difficult, but, like, man. I definitely just died on level 28, and, I mean, it was just bad rotations all around. But even still, for me to be dying this early on, like, they're, it's difficult, right? They're strong. Um, as far as the team I'm running, I'm definitely running a double extreme boo lead. You definitely could run double, um, baby, but, I don't know, he, he kind of gets hurt by Vegeta a lot, so I'm, I'm not really running him, um, not to mention the boos have damage reduction, which makes them, like, pretty much immune to everything. You could definitely run a double rotation of the boos and then just run a full boo team, and you probably would be fine, um, but I don't know, I wanted to show off Cell, especially since I've been working on Cell's link levels. I didn't really go over that in the last video, as far as my new team, with link levels, but I started working on 17, MVP 17, uh, the physical one from Turning to Power, and then there was AGL Super 17, we started working on him, and he's almost, he's got one link left, I think his is GT, and then physical cells is a bit bad bosses, obviously, so, um, yeah, I wanted to show off the cell, because why not, right, I've been working on him, might as well, not to mention he has an AoE super attack, which I figured, you know, maybe it'll do something since I'm fighting two people. Like, maybe he'll actually hurt, but that didn't really work out that well. But yeah, as far as the team I'm running, two Majins, two Cells, and I threw Baby on just because why not? He's a Saiyan killer. So I figured I'd just do both these last two stages. I didn't want to do three because I figured the video might be too long, but um, yeah, we're just going to do this. As far as strategy goes, like, I try and just link up Cell and Boo as much as I can. Well, not Cell and Boo, but link up the Cell with the other Cell and the other Boo with the other Boo, right? Um, main goal, though, is probably take out Goku as fast as possible because it seems like he hits harder than Vegeta. Not gonna lie. I could be wrong, and it could be just the fear of physical Cell getting supered for, like, 6 million, but who knows? You know, maybe. Um, we're just gonna take out Goku, though. That's, that's our main focus. Just drop Goku as much as possible. Um, ING Cell doesn't take damage. Uh, and then AGL Baby just goes ahead and goes to work. Uh, if you guys saw my video yesterday, stupid late. I'll try and do better about that. But, um, it's looking like LR Baby is about to get a new, uh, linking partner, which is gonna be great. Real shame it's not a Dokken Fest, but... Um, I might actually summon for him. I really didn't want to summon for anything besides Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but it's Baby, and Baby is, like, my favorite villain in the series, I think. He, he just might be. Like, Goku Black's definitely up there. Baby, I think, is up there. And then, I can't remember who my third favorite was, but that's fine. You get the point, right? Baby's one of my favorite villains, so... I don't know. We might summon, depending on what the LR looks like and what he does and stuff like that. Uh, LR Baby was actually my first LR, so, um, I do have, like, a lot of emotional attachment? Significant attachment? I don't know what the correct terminology here is, but Baby, right, he's, he's really important to me, because he was, like, my first LR. So, LRs came out during, like, the second year anniversary, and, like I said, I've been playing this game since day one, so I've been summoning consistently, and I just could never pull an LR, like, no matter what I tried, no matter how many stones I spent, I just couldn't pull an LR, until the fourth year anniversary, two years of just me not being able to pull an LR straight, it was crazy, I can't remember the last time I pulled an LR, I think it was during the six year anniversary, because now they just hand out LRs like it's nothing, right, but way back when, when, like, LR banners actually meant something, I couldn't pull one to save my life, and I'm kind of sad about that, but, what are you going to do, right? As far as, um, as far as who I hope I pull, I mean, I don't think I have any LRs rainbowed besides, like, AGL, Maj, and Vegeta. 
he's not rainbowed, but like one more copy and he'll be rainbowed. And at that point, like I just I I'll feel no shred of there would be no shred of happiness. Like not a single one. Just not a single shred of happiness. We'll just be miserable. I've seen this. This right here. This is what we don't want to happen to physical cell. This is still gonna hurt cell, but it's not it's not that bad, right? I don't know why, but IND Cell, well, I shouldn't say I don't know why, because, like, we were pretty much at full HP, but IND Cell is just really defensive, like, absolute defensive juggernaut. Um, and again, here goes Cell using his 12 key efficiently. Not only does it, like, hit AoEs, um, but it also, it also heals us. That sucks. He didn't kill, so that kind of, that kind of sucked. It's fine, though, because I sent, mmm, mm, that's painful. That's a different kind of, mmm. Hmm. Yeah, see, there's that difficulty that I was talking about. But on the bright side, at least we know that Baby is not going to get super by Vegeta. We should still be alive, right? Yeah, yeah, still still alive. Um, I think both of our boobs are linked up, which them together, I think they give us like 30% HP a turn. Just like them attacking and getting hit every turn. So they're going to be fine. I think we're below 50% HP, right? Yep, so his all his links are active. By the way, again, I just never went to link level him, but he'll be sitting there, right? I think I can actually do B-Pan's easy A again today. I, I think I was supposed to do it yesterday, but it's fine. Um, We'll get her easy A'd whenever, but I'm running him through the B-Pan event. I know Tech Buff Boo, um, what's his name? Baby, LR Baby, crazy, right? LR Baby, STR Gogeta, LR STR Broly, um, Vegeta and Nappa, and Saiyan Day Broly. I have all of them on a team through the B Pan event, because, like, that's the highest stage to get uh, link levels, right? Besides B Pan's new stage, because it's 130, but, like, only six characters can go on there, so it's a little bit different. But even still, uh, I'm having them sit on there until any of them get to link level 10. But like I said, uh, this easy, it's not, it, I shouldn't make it seem like it's impossible to beat, because it's not impossible, like, you can beat it, but it's definitely a step up. Like, I don't think SDR LR Broly's easy A was as bad as this. I think SDR LR Broly's easy A was way easier than this one, so it's just a bit much, just a bit much. I think what I'm going to do here is throw off Kid Buu. Um, no, we're not going to do that, they're just not going to link. Um, solely for the fact that physical cell is going to be coming on this rotation, so I'll throw off INT cell next rotation, just to speed it up just a little bit. Um, we'll give him the iron or the physical key because physical cell's got two turns to get here, so it's fine. Mmm, 30k. Hence why I like 40% damage reduction. Like, it's not even that good, but when you look at it like this, like it's better than nothing. I don't know why they didn't give these. This boost should have been better. Oh, and now we're getting super attack too. We might die. We we might die, and we might just have to do another run. And the fact, like we we might even we might even transform with cell. We might even transform with cell. I think Super Saiyan Four Vegeta super dust in the first slot, right? He did. I I can't remember, but if he did, and I would have put Baby in the first slot. So that way we could get links with um, Fat Boo and Kid Boo. I think we would have died. I, I don't think there's any way that we would have lived. Ooh, Kid Boo double supering. That's 30% HP by himself. Not even including any links. That's just 30% HP recovery. Like I said, Kid Boo, just an absolute insane easy A awakening. So here we go again. Back at this. Um... I think we, we're throwing off Physical Cell. I think I want to put Buff Boo right here. And then we're going to proceed to do that. So we're going to go ahead and finish up this turn. I should have given him the Physical Orb so we still could have gotten these ones, but it's fine. I think Goku's going to go down this turn, but I don't know for sure. Hmm... Okay, cool. That's not bad. Yeah, um, and then this buff boo, he recovers 5% HP as long as he gets hit, so that's nice. Not to mention all the links that he's sharing with Fat Boo. Why? Why? Who harmed you two? 
Me? I did. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty valid. But listen, it wasn't my intentions. I just wanted the medals. Tune in with the Kamehameha. Keep it moving. Um, I think we should be getting Evil Blue next turn on the other rotation. Cell being floated off means that um, if next turn we drop below 30%, we actually won't transform because he's going to be off rotation, which kind of sucks. But it's the best way to get him linked up with physical LR cell. So, I mean, I don't really have a choice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, do I want to put Baby there? I think we'll do this. And I'll give Baby this key. I should have saved it for physical LR cell. But again, mistakes happen, right? Um, we're actually going to hit... I mean, it doesn't matter because we're hitting the 12 key. Um, and then we're going to go for this. Just really want to try and hammer down Goku away. Because once Goku is gone, like, that's pretty much all our worries. Unless, like, Vegeta supers us right here. Because that could always happen. And then we're just dead. Doesn't look like it. Is he going to be nice for once? Huh? Vegeta? You want to not murder me? Okay. That's a, that's a start. Um... We just gotta make it past physical LR cell and his kids. Let's hope that Vegeta doesn't murder him. No crit, which kind of sucks. Okay. Alright, we're in the clear. Because Evil Blue's not taking any damage. Just go ahead and take out Goku. And then we should only have Vegeta left. Is Goku still alive? Really? Really? We couldn't We couldn't take him out? That's uh, That's kind of annoying. Okay, Evil Blue's here, so we're going to transform again, and I guess we're going to take out Goku now. I could wait until next turn and just, um, just use physical AoEs, or physical cells AoE to wrap it up, but we're just going to take him out this turn. I'm, I think I'll have Buff Boo go right here. I could get Berserker active, but it's not really worth it, so we'll do that. Um... Then we'll have Physical Kid Boo take him out, and then we'll have him go back to Vegeta. Grab as many type orbs as we can. Wow. Wow. That kind of hurt. We might die. No, we're not going to die. We might die, actually. Never mind. No, we might die, because Goku's still attacking us here. Wow. Okay. All right. No, we raised defense on Super. So... Yeah, after this, I mean, Kid Buu's going to go ahead and kill Goku, so we don't have to worry about that. And then he heals 15% HP, so there's no way Vegeta's killing us, especially after he just supered. Even without a double super attack, which I, I would have preferred that he didn't do that, but it's fine. Because not like I want to see Cell transform or anything. I mean, who would, who would want to see LR Cell transform? Yep, and he's taking nothing because he double supered. Because Boo... <laughs> greatly raises attack and defense on Super, I think. I think he greatly raises attack. Oh! You know what? You can keep Cell. You can keep Cell. This is way better. You can have him. You can have him. Oh! Look at the Golden Great Ape. What an absolute legend. Did I mention that Baby was my first LR? Did I mention that he was my favorite? I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but Baby was also my first LR. Let me just... Just in case anybody was wondering... First and favorite LR, hands down. Look at the golden great ape. Hold on. Gonna hit him with a Gallic gun real quick. And then, not to mention, like, just just wait until the end of the turn. Because I'm gonna hit him with this revenge death ball. Man, man. You should see it. It's definitely, it's like, it's a black spirit bomb, dog. It's so dope. It's so cool. Look at it. Look at, look at the sparkles. I want to know who made the super attack. I really do, cause I'll pay them. I'll pay the. I'll pay Akatsuki to meet them. Like it, it's worth it. I just want to know, like, what kind of talent you gotta have to make this. I just want to know. It, it'll take like two seconds. Yeah, cause now, now Vegeta's gonna hold two death balls. Has two revenge death balls in the same turn. Not just one, but two. This is the best great ape in the game. Oh my goodness. The best great ape in the game came out two years ago. Can we buff the giant category, please? Please, they they need help. Where is Doken Fest Vegeta? All right, hit him with the uh, Revenge Death Ball, and then I'm going to go ahead and easy a Goku and Vegeta, and I will be heading out.
getting this video all wrapped up. I gotta edit it and record it, or edit it and <sighs> export it, and then I gotta upload it, and it's just a lot of work. It's just a lot. Um, Goku and Vegeta done though. Sick. Easy A was super fun, but I don't know, difficult. Let's get the Easy A in them. All right, so I finished training up Easy A Goku and Easy A Vegeta. Um, I just gotta get them to 140. And then we're going to wrap the video up because, you know, there's not much else to say. I'm going to take these guys. Well, I'm going to take Goku into the Legendary Goku event, GT. And I'm really going to take Vegeta because Vegeta doesn't stack defense like Goku. Um, he might be good, but I don't know. I'd rather not just take him, honestly. I'd rather not risk it. Because then I can run, like, Gohan and Goku on rotation together without even worrying about Super Saiyan 4 Goku HDL. Like, having to be super in the first slot. Like, I don't have to worry about that at all. Um, as far as Vegeta, though, like, Vegeta might be better than uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta LR because he doesn't have to worry about getting his 18 key. But even still, I'd rather just not risk it. Um, we're going to go ahead and use these, uh, the high training chambers. I like using these for, um, I like using these specifically for, my easy A is just because it's, like, it's the best for them. If you, I don't know. I don't like using the hyperbolic time chambers because those I use for my LRs. So, this is, like, the second rank up. You, you feel me? Um, and then Goku, we have to find one more time. Let's go ahead and add these five Kais. And then I'll probably use the extra Kais for some random unit that I don't have done. But yeah, there's Goku and Vegeta, Easy 8, max level. They're not link level 10. Um, I might do a video on when I get them to link level 10. Not a showcase, because I don't, I don't really plan on doing showcases on this channel. It's not something I really do. I'm mainly just in this game for the summons. So, don't expect too many showcases. I'll go over what's going on in the game, like, events-wise and stuff. But, nothing too crazy as far as 6 million attack stats and blah, blah, blah that, you know? Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, Zodiac heading out. Later.